Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about the Vendillion Click. Uh, Vendillion Click was by far the most highest, the highest or the least margin from uh, TCG made to uh, the actual buy price, which was $31. I think TCG made at the time was $36 for the cheapest version of it. And I looked at it and I was like, holy, like there was a, uh, such a small gap in between that card and it was just that one vendor. So Vendillion Click, they were not taking foils. That's how I got my foil copy. So let's talk about Vendillion Click and where, why a store in Japan would be so interested in stockpiling. I mean, I traded in pretty much a ton of Vendillion Clicks. Uh, it may be eight to 10 uh, Vendillion Clicks a time. So I would accumulate these Vendillion Clicks and then I would just trade them in. So Vendillion Click is very good. Is it as good as not Seer? I don't know, probably not. I would say there are benefits to having a flyer, um, but also Andrazi has dominated Legacy, by the way, is the most played Legacy deck right now. <laughs> I mean, that's how strong it is. And before like people would say, oh, well, Modern is you know, not affected by this Andrazi. Well, if it's dominating Legacy and it's dominating Modern, it's just sick, right? It is sick when you think about it. Uh, so I think you can ban it in Modern and then ban the Eye of Ugin in Modern, just let it live in Legacy because that's not something which is a coach supposedly cares about. Anyway, small side. So Vendillion Click is a very good card, but the comparison right now has to be with the Not Share, which it comes down as a 4-4. Um, but it's not coming down on turn four. I mean, that card's coming down on turn two, or at latest turn three. It's never going to hard cast at turn four unless your opponent is doing stuff, which again takes resources and things of that nature. Uh, Vanillion Click is a legacy card. It is an absolute legacy card. So be on the lookout for legacy played cards. Maybe you know one of, two of, even play sets. And they are all spiking. One of the craziest things I've noticed over the weekend was, uh, what was that tutor? That tutor that if you don't have any cards in your hand, you can pick any card you want from the sentence. That card spiked, and tomb spiked, exploration spiked. I'm looking at these cards, I'm saying, oh, the only reason these cards are spiking is probably because of legacy. Um, and I'll be quite honest with you, that is, you know, that is, probably true for most of the legacy cards. It's kind of like when I looked at the unlimited cards, I didn't realize there was a new format and they had all spiked to crazy amounts. That's how I feel like GP Houston was for semi-playable, fringe playable legacy cards. Everyone was just trying to stockpile them because the Infernal Tutor, yeah, I think it was called Infernal Tutor, those were heavily played and I've never had any interest. I've never had anybody interested in that on the tombs because uh, they were, you know, in my opinion, they're heavy play. They're my personal place that I used to play when I was smaller. Uh, when I was, a, um, I believe in middle school, I think was the time I, that came out. And yeah, that's crazy, right? Because yeah, Wild Mongol, <laughs> that was a good card. And middle school, I would play without sleeves and I would get, you know, in tomb and stuff like that. And then I never had anyone interested in them until now. So people are picking, and the exploration from Urza Saga as well is, um, those were very played and they kept taking my played cards. I'm just like, oh, well, I should buy more of these because I never, vendors do not take that type of condition card. And that was so strange for me to see. So Vanillion Click, very, very interesting card. Um, the other cards that I felt were interesting, I mean, like was Tomagorf at 105 was, quite surprising. Um, I think, I don't know if I was surprised by how low, I think that's actually not a bad point, price point right now for it at buy list. Expeditions, you had tons and tons of expeditions. Uh, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I wrote Vendillion Click, Tomagorf Expeditions, but definitely legacy played staples. People are really, really hungry for those right now. And even if they are not in the best shape, which again, that's surprising. Anyway, bye guys.